This is the integumentary system. So here's a cross section of skin. So here's your epidermis, which is your cutaneous membrane. Here's your dermis, which is divided into two layers. The papillary layer is closer to the surface, and the reticular layer is middly. And there's also the subcutaneous layer, which is super deep. It's also called the hypodermis. These nice yellow ones are fat, adipose tissue. There are red arteries and blue veins poking through this diagram. The arteries and veins together are called the cutaneous plexus. There are sweat glands. One, two, three, four sweat glands in this diagram. Note that they are not connected to hairs. There are nerve fibers. These are nerve fibers and this big puppy is a nerve fiber. This is a lamellated corpuscule, also known as a pacinian corpuscule, and this is what you feel for heavy petting or cooking. There is also a tactile corpuscule for a Meissner's corpuscule, and this is your light touching. You'll note that the light touch is closer to the surface and the heavy touch is farther away. Light touch Meissner's, heavy touch pacinian. There are also hair follicles, blink, blink, etc. There are sweat gland ducts attached to the hair follicles. Wait, no, 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 that's a sweat gland duct. That okay. is a sebaceous gland which secretes oil which makes your fur nice and shiny. There are erector pili muscles which are the muscles that make your hair stand on end. There are also pores on the surface of the sweat gland ducts, and there are also hair shafts. And this is a secret other sweat gland that's <laughs> used in puberty, and it's on a different page, and it's not on this diagram or in the, the book. The end. I don't think it's.